to the semi-final stages of the CaesarsCasino.com snooker shootout. Time to meet the players. Would you please welcome Scotland's Marcus Campbell. Ladies and gentlemen, he's known as 00147. His name is Bob. Nigel Bob! Let's join our boys in the box for the first semi-final, the great WT and the greatest of them all, the whirlwind, Jimmy White. Thank you very much indeed, and what a big match this is for both players. Nigel Bond has already won a ranking event, Marcus Campbell has not yet played in a major final. Big match this one. Oh, that might be a relay. Like, no, yeah. just run it. Bond versus Campbell. 20 second shot clock in operation. Let the semi final shootout begin. Marcus Campbell, this could be the biggest payday of his career so far. If he wins this match, he's guaranteed £16,000. Even though he won one of the PTC events, Jimmy, which I think is 10,000. Yes, correct, Willie. Really. He's, um, he's had a real good season, actually. He's won one of the PTCs, he's qualified for a couple of venues. And uh, his last match, he won near enough in one break. And the match before that, he had a 70. So he'd be very confident. Nigel escaped there, beating Mark King. So he's, um, he'd be under no pressure, really, for me. He'd just uh, be pleased to be there. Do you think experience at this stage, Jimmy, can play a part, the semi-final? Um, I, th I think on shot selection-wise, if you're realising it's just a one-frame situation, but because of the shot clock and uh, what's at stake, I wouldn't try and run the clock down. I'd just try and play my own game. That's what I think a few players have tripped up on this week. Yes, we can think of certainly at least three matches that the shot clock's made a difference. Oh, it just grazed past the yellow there. a change to see a couple of safety shots, isn't it, Jimmy? <laughs> yeah. I'd have been a bit reluctant to play it this way, just in case you don't reach, but he's played a very, very good shot. Can you imagine not reaching, leaving ball in hand? He'd be devastated. That's exactly what happened to Mike Dunn. He'd done a foul by going in off, very unlucky. He'd leave someone perfect. But looks like Nigel can get through to this red. One. I thought Marcus had played the shot perfectly, obviously not. Nice position here, Willie. Again, he's got four open reds before he has to even think about opening the, the pack up, so he should get a nice lead straight away. I can't see him missing from here. Yeah, a 40 point lead in, in any frame is good, but in a one frame encounter, it's, it's massive. I think we've only had uh, two people come from more than 40 behind in a match, so Nigel's just got to concentrate here and getting at least four. Just must have just took his eye off that Willie to um, playing on the red behind the black. Totally cued across it. I think he was probably reluctant to play for the red behind the, on the cushion, wasn't he? he? He just got a little bit annoyed on it. Changed his mind on the shot. Yeah, bad miss. Yeah. 
one. That's possibly the easiest black Nigel's ever missed in a match. Frightening. Yeah, we were just talking about Nigel Bond, sure to be at least 40 points in front. And he scored 15. Seven. Yeah, it's hit this okay. No, it's hey. come the wrong side of the blue. Now got to go in and out of bulk, will he? I can't see a red. Well, the only shot if he wants to get on a red is play the brown, but you don't want to be doing that at this game, do you? Trying to split the pack. No, I think he's just going to take the five points and play safe. 13. As you can see by the seedings on their shirts, these two are pretty evenly Marcus matched Campbell in the rankings. 13. Nigel Bond, 36. Marcus Campbell, 37 seed in the world. And you've got to take your hat off to Nigel Bond, really. He's looking at a slight possible plant here. Well, he's looked at, he's looked at it too long to refuse it, so he's going to be going for it. Well, stand by your beds. These balls could go anywhere. Oh, is any colour? Oh dear. Oh. And if he doesn't make One. contact with the colour, Jim, ball doesn't in hand. Make ball in hand can be end of match. He's got to really hit that. I think he'll probably play for the brown, will he? One cushion. Wow, this is uh, an This is a big shot. Maybe yellow two cushions. Yeah, I think. maybe yellow, yeah. Yellow. yellow ball. It's there. Nigel ball well done, one. Nigel. Great shot. It's amazing when you're trying to get out of snooker and it cost you a match. How much pressure was on that? It's a shame the black's gone out. That's not a very good safety shot. It's a shame the black's uh, gone out of commission, really, because it's, uh, the pink's not looking good. So this is still absolutely anybody's frame. Not to be a, nice to have a draw, wouldn't it? And they pop the. Um, well, that's the only thing that's missing, Jim, in this tournament, isn't it? That's the only thing that's missing. Yeah. We haven't had a draw yet. Maybe we have it in the final. <laughs> the draw and the blue for the tournament. The 32 large. Very nice. Yeah. No pressure. <laughs> no point in taking the red down the left hand side unless uh, you know you can get onto a colour. I think he's going to do a deep screw when he's got tremendous Q power. <laughs> wow. wow. Great shot. I think they just play safe now with a black one. Well, I must admit, I fancied they playing the safe shot off the black, but it looks like he's taking the brown on. I don't see the point of that at all. Well, I, I, didn't, I, I can't see the value because the next shot, there's no colour after the next red, and it's not, it wasn't an easy shot. If he just touches the black, Nigel's in big trouble. Now he's got a shot for nothing. I mean, hopefully this tournament wow. will continue over the years, and I think the more we play these tournaments, they'll start to realise what is the right and wrong shot, won't they? Yeah, everyone will learn the moves. All the players have enjoyed it. It's been great to watch. I've enjoyed commentating and, and watching it, and it's, uh, you know, Ronnie's played it as like he's playing every other match. I think that's the key, isn't it? Players, if it means nothing, when it actually means everything. Yeah, that's supposed to be one of the sporting clues, isn't it? Yeah, Nigel's cubed that brilliantly. Right side of the blue. Gets on the red left of the pink. And if he stays high on the blue, he should get another 18 Nine. points here. And that, uh, with two and a half minutes left, that should win him the match and put him in the final, Ten. will he? Marcus, were kicking himself the last visit to the table when he could have uh, probably just moved the black off the cushion, left the white tight on the cushion. He decided to play the brown, and as Jimmy mentioned, there was no possible colour on after the next red. Bad 15. mistake. 17 in front. 46 years of age, Nigel Bond, taking his time, just keeping on the table. Not, he's having a little glance at the clock, but not studying the clock like some of the players no, have done. No, you must, because you, you get out of rhythm, rhythm and you make the silliest mistakes, so you should just uh, play as like he's playing a normal game now. 21. Come a bit straight, doesn't want to screw him off in the middle bag. No, hit it well. 
Wow, he did it that well. 22. Now, if he wants to play the little cannon on the pink, he can, but would you risk that at this stage, Jim? Um, minute 40 seconds left. Yeah, I think he is. He's held for the... Yeah, he's OK there, will he? Risky, wasn't it? But if it had gone wrong, he'd have been kicking himself. But the fact it's gone right now, he just needs to pot red colour red, and that's the end. Yeah, good luck to Nigel. He's uh, a great guy, always gives it 100%. So, but 28. A great result for him. What's he doing now? Hopefully not just hopefully Why don't you just pot the green? Up. Yeah, don't blame him for that. He's a 30-point lead with only a minute left. Somehow, Marcus is going to have to fluke this red. Double it in the green bag. Come on, Nigel! And Nigel's cousin there. <laughs> his father's here, that's for certain. But uh, I wouldn't imagine his father would shout out like that. He might like to shout out now. One. 46 years of age, Nigel Bond, and he's got to another final. I'd like to call it a major final because it's been great fun. Six. Major excitement, that's for sure. Seven. Marcus Campbell's shot selection has certainly cost him this game, but Marcus has had a great tournament, no. played very, very well. Yeah, if you look back at that tape and think, why didn't I just uh, play the black and keep him bang in trouble? Five, four, three, Wait in. two, one. The handshake comes. Marcus Campbell had a chance, didn't take it. Nigel Bond, 46 years of age.